Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, as you remember from an earlier video, uh, I think I posted it a couple weeks ago, um, a subscriber and friend and fan sent me a pair of motocross boots. Um, I had mentioned that uh, my ankles turn so much. Um, I have very weak ankles on both sides and uh, I even actually have an operation uh, that went wrong and the tendon on the outside of my ankle, uh, on my left ankle actually snapped uh, post uh, operation and I never went and got it fixed so I actually felt that little tendon go up my uh, leg and a uh, little bit down into my foot when it let go anyway my point is is that my ankles roll really easy and the best solution that I found now is to wear motocross boots um, they just give such incredible uh, uh, support to my ankles I can still walk in them um, I'm gonna actually show you a couple things about the boots that I've got now and uh, my next upgrade. Um, I am, of course, everyone upgrades. I, I will still keep and wear these boots because they they really mean a lot to me because they were given to me uh, as a gift. So I really, they do again mean a lot to me, but I am also again thinking of upgrading. Uh, and I'll, sh I'll tell you why. But anyway, that this video isn't really about that. This is about this, check this out. All right, so when you buckle up the boots, from the top down and you come up to here, there's Velcro in a majority of these boots. And unless you pull on them and yank them over, um, when you buckle up this last one, it's fighting against the Velcro. So basically it's always gonna, this buckle's always gonna undergo more stress than the other buckles because you're constantly, it's just fighting against that Velcro uh, as it ratchets just closed. And so this buckle is always going to be under, and this is the one that breaks most from what I understand. Uh, some riders and some manufacturers, like uh, I believe it's, um, I, I won't even say the name, but there's some that don't put the Velcro in. Uh, to me, that would make more sense, especially with just a ratcheting uh, buckle system. Um, and you're not putting undue stress on that rat last buckle because of the, uh, because of the Velcro. Uh, often you'll hear it. You'll hear, you hear that as, a, as that crunching is, is that it's fighting against the Velcro, which puts undue strain on the top buckle. Anyway, so this is how I figured out how to do it without having to worry. Just a common regular envelope, slide it onto there. When I do the buckle, it pulls it as tight as the buckle. I want the buckle to pull it. And then I just pull the paper out and that doesn't put any undue strain on the top buckle. It doesn't put any extra strain on the buckle and the Velcro still holds it tight at the maximum uh, that I wanted to set it with the buckle and it's not putting it under any undue strain. Uh, one, just one last thing for this particular video. I wanted to show um, most of these, uh, this is an entry level boot and I am so, so impressed with it. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. Uh, one of the things that I did find though, because I usually, I'm wear, you, wearing it for sometimes work and sometimes uh, if I'm bike riding or if I just want to walk around uh, and, I'm, and I want that actual uh, extra ankle support, um, I had to take the toe caps off. Um, I was finding when I was walking on my end stride, my toe would actually skip and slide on the uh, slide on the pavement and so I just took them off. These soles, uh, even though they are an entry-level boot, um, these soles are replaceable. These are stitched on with recessed stitching so when they do eventually wear down, remember I'm not actually wearing them and using them for actual motocross riding and the abuse that that kind of uh, hobby will entail. Mine are just for the ankle support so it's for everyday walking, uh, everyday going around and what have you. Um, yeah, that's the tip for that. It'll enlarge the length of your uh, tab. And the toe caps, it was just I, ne I needed that extra ability to, uh, to walk without skipping. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's just my little tip. It'll lengthen the line. I, I noticed, like I say, a lot of manufacturers and a lot of the uh, reviews that I was reading were saying that the buckles on the tops usually go first and that they, and, and I realized that's exactly why. Um, that's exactly why some of the higher end uh, don't have uh, the Velcro on. It just doesn't put that extra end day strain. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. My next pair, I'm going to have hinges, uh, hinged ankles. It'll just make walking a lot, lot, lot easier. Um, 
and still give me that lateral support that I desperately, desperately need for both of my ankles. Thanks for watching, guys. I've got another video coming out real soon. You guys are going to love it. Talk soon.